Stan S. Stanman, one of the most loved iconic characters from the Monkey Island series, a fast-talking and eccentric salesman who appeared in all of the Monkey Island games to date. In this video we'll have a look at how this classic Monkey Island character evolved throughout the Monkey Island franchise, both in appearance and his career, and I'll share my thoughts on what's next for Stan. Will he return to Monkey Island? Stan was a shrewd businessman who would do anything and everything to clinch a sale, sometimes to his detriment. He tended to overhype his wares and loaded them with add-ons or extras, whilst praising them as bargains. He was characterised by his manic arm gestures, oddly patterned jackets and big mouth. On the rare occasion that he allowed a customer to speak, he would stand with his hands on his hips and his foot tapped impatiently. The way that Stan was written into the story really made the player feel a little irritated at times, and this is a testament as to how well the personality of a pushy salesman was captured by the writers. Stan made his first appearance in 1990's The Secret of Monkey Island, and later again in the 2009 Special Edition. He was the owner of Stan's previously owned vessels on Melee Island, which was the perfect place for Guybrush to buy a ship and set off on his adventures to become a mighty pirate and to rescue Elaine from the zombie pirate LeChuck. The ship that Guybrush bought was the Sea Monkey, a ship that Stan bought from chimps who sailed from Monkey Island. Being the shrewd businessman and expert salesman, Stan sold the ship to Guybrush for much more than the pile of junk was worth. Later in the game, Stan tries to interest LeChuck in buying a boat, however LeChuck hits him and is sent flying away. And that's the last we see of Stan until the end of the game when we see him fall into the sea. Stan's next appearance was in 1991's sequel, Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge, and again in the 2010 Special Edition. Stan survived his rather wet end into the first game and moved to Booty Island and opened up a mortuary called Stan's Previously Owned Coffins. He also sold add-on products such as Stan's Cozy Crips and Stan's Casual Crosses. He felt it made sense to sell coffins, especially after his failed ship selling venture in Melee Island. Selling to the deceased helped to avoid unsatisfied customers coming back to complain. We also see that Stan has changed the colour of his clothes, most notably his trademark jacket which was now black and dark grey, very much in line with the mortuary theme. When he attempted a pitch to Guybrush Fleetwood, believing him to be interested in making a purchase, he sat inside one of the finest coffins. He proudly called it the Cadillac of Coffins, demonstrated how roomy and comfortable it was, and pointed out the built-in cup holder. Fleetwood, however, shut the lid on him and nailed it down, trapping Stan inside and that is the last we see of Stan. In 1997's The Curse of Monkey Island, Guybrush mixes alcohol with medicine, a hangover remedy made for the owner of the hotel on Blood Island. This makes Guybrush pass out. Having been mistaken for dead, Guybrush wakes up to find himself having to escape from a coffin after being placed in a crypt. Within the centre of the crypt, on top of an altar, there's a coffin that's moving. Although scared, Guybrush opens the coffin and who jumps out? Stan, of course. Point to Stan, he spent three months trapped inside the coffin. Stan held no malice though. Having found that being locked away for so long had given him time to think and reflect. His thoughts led him to begin selling life insurance policies, and he promptly set up shop in the very crypt where he was released. He cheerily handed Guybrush his laminated business card, hoping to deal with him in the future. Guybrush took out an insurance policy to receive money when he died. Then, after Guybrush faked his identity as a member of the Good Soup family and faked his death again, he retrieved his death certificate and cashed in the insurance policy with the certificate as proof, leaving Stan with no other choice but to pay up in gold. One thing I did wonder. Like, why is his jacket now purple and not the black jacket that he was wearing when he was sealed in the coffin? The year 2000 saw the release of Escape from Monkey Island. This was the first Monkey Island game to use 3D graphics and was made using the Grim Eam game engine, the engine that made Grim Fandango. It was also the first Monkey Island game to appear on console, being released for the PlayStation 2 in 2001. Here Stan reveals that he left the life insurance business because too many customers were coming back from the dead to claim their policies. He relocated to Jambalaya Island, where he opened Stan's real estate and Emporium, a business selling timeshare real estate. Because Guybrush is able to stay awake throughout this three hour sales pitch, thanks to some Rogacino, Stan rewards him with a coupon for a free monkey mug meal at Planet Fleetwood. Stan also reveals that he tried to work for a character called Ozzy Mandrill, but Ozzy wouldn't even give him an interview. And that led to a quite a bit of a feud between Stan and Ozzy. And finally, in 2009, we saw The Tales of Monkey Island, a game that was released in five episodic segments. In this game, Stan appears on Flotsam Island, having set up a legal business where the Keel Hall and Gazette used to be. He acts as a prosecutor in the case against Guybrush whilst selling memorabilia of the trial on the side, one of which Guybrush uses to have one of the charges against him dropped. He also takes part in the trial against LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady, this time working on the defence. Although Guybrush tells Stan no hard feelings, for the various criminal and civil charges in the courtroom, 
Guybrush does manage to get a measure of revenge by having a group of vicious moths shred Stan's trademark jacket. So what's next in store for Stan? Will he return to Monkey Island? As we know, Return to Monkey Island will actually pick up from where Monkey Island 2 finished off, so if he does, we can expect Stan to either still be in the coffin or will have escaped somehow. I wonder what Stan will be selling this time around. Do you think Stan will need to be freed by Guybrush or will that be too much in line with the storyline from the Curse of Monkey Island? What if Stan actually died in the coffin but came back as a zombie ghost pirate and now works for LeChuck, selling lava river cruises to unsuspecting pirates? Will he remember Guybrush as the man who nailed the coffin shut? We already know that Return to Monkey Island will include Melee Island. Will Stan's previously owned vessel still be there? Will he have set up shop there again or will we also see an appearance of Booty Island and maybe he's converted his old shop there? If so, will Guybrush run into Captain Kate Capsize again? I wonder how awkward that would be for Guybrush. Let me know in the comments whether you think Stan will reappear in Return to Monkey Island and what you think he might be selling. Could he be a ghost this time? So if you enjoyed the video do please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more Return to Monkey Island content. Thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next one.